Welcome to Thursday Learn Day Extras, where we get to expose all kinds of secrets about the Sphero EDU app to you. Thanks for tuning in. Extra number one, multi-program delete. If you're making a lot of programs in the app, it can be a lot to manage. If you want to delete a program, you have to go to it, click the overflow, and then click delete. So deleting a lot of programs could be kind of a pain. Luckily, there is a feature called multi-delete. All you do is long press on a program and then select all the ones you want to delete, and then click in the upper right, the trash can, and confirm, and there you go. All three programs are deleted. Extra number two, find me content with search and filters. If you've built a lot of programs, it can be really helpful to see all the ways you can sort and filter them. For example, if you click on the down carrot up here, you can search by newest, oldest, your most liked programs, whether they're public, interview, or private, or if they're featured. Let's try searching by oldest, the opposite of the default. You can see some really old programs that I've got in here. Also, you can filter your programs by the program type, draw blocks or text. Let's try searching by text. And you can search by robot. Let's search by text and BB-8. Looks like I only have one program. You can also use search and filter on the Sphero and Community tabs. Let's say you want to see if there are any Thursday Learn Days about planets. You can type in planets in the search field, hit search, and notice that we have two. Extra number three. What's the difference between programs and activities? There are two main types of content in the Sphero EDU app. Programs, which if you go to a program, you notice that it's actually code, JavaScript on the back end that streams over Bluetooth to the robot. That's a program. The second type are activities. Activities, like the Sphero Shapes activity in the community section, are detailed instructions on doing a lesson with Sphero. Sometimes they even have learning standards linked to them. If you go into the steps, you'll get really specific detailed instructions on how to do this project. You can start the activity by clicking a checkbox and notice that the app starts the activity and submits your answer. And as you go through the steps, notice that your progress at the top of the app goes forward. And lastly, if this is a activity that uses the programming canvas, you can click the canvas button in the upper right, select your program type and robot, and start programming along with the activity. You can get right back to the steps to start where you left off and continue on with the activity. And you can go back and forth to the programming canvas as many times as you want. There are tons of activities in the Community and Sphero section, and the Workbook section are the activities that you have in progress. If your teacher assigns you an activity, it'll show up in the workbook. Thanks for tuning in to Thursday Learn Day Extras. We hope you can use all these tips and tricks as you learn how to program Sphero. Make sure to check out all the Thursday Learn Days in the app, and we'll see you next week.